welcome back to the channel. We've got four challenges lined up for you. Can you crack these challenges? Feel free to pause the video and give them a try on your own. Are you ready? Let's dive in. So the first problem is, look at this problem. Three minus three times, three minus three. We've seen a lot of people do it in the following way. Look at three minus three is zero, right? It's going to be zero. This three minus three also gives zero, right? It's going to be zero times zero. So the answer in this case will be zero, wrong. This is the wrong way for us to solve it. To get the correct answer, let's first understand the PEMDAS rule. As it helps to determine the sequence in which mathematical expressions should be evaluated to ensure accurate results. Here P stands for parentheses. Perform calculations inside parentheses first. E stands for exponents. This includes operations like squaring cubing or taking square roots. M and D are multiplication and division. These operations have the same priority and should be executed from left to right. A and SE are addition and subtraction. Finally perform addition and subtraction from left to right. These operations also have the same priority and should be executed in the order they appear in the expression. So in this expression, we have a multiplication sign and minus signs. Since multiplication have a higher priority, so three times three is our first move, which is equals to nine. Now we have 3 minus 9 minus 3. Now the expression only contains minus signs. So the expression will be solved from left to right. Now 3 minus 9 will be minus 6. Now we have minus 6 minus 3, which is equals to minus 9. This is our final answer. Thanks for... So here is the second problem. Look at this problem. The problem is 8 plus... 8 times 4 divided by 2. Let's see step by step how to solve it. But first, try to solve it yourself and comment below which of the following options is correct. Since the expression only contains a plus sign, a multiplication sign, and a division sign, according to PEMDAS rule multiplication and division has a higher priority than addition. And further, since there is a multiplication and division signs, both the signs have the same priority. So what do I see first, form moving left to right? Well, in this case, I see multiplication first. So this is what I have to do first. So eight times four will be our first move, which is equals to 32. Now we have the following expression. Now our next move will be division. 32 divided by 2, which equals 16. Now the expression becomes 8 plus 16, which is equals to 24. Look at the options. The first one, 8, is incorrect. The second one is minus 24, which is also incorrect, because our answer is a positive number. The third one is 4 factorial. Look when a number has this little exclamation mark in front of it. We call this number a factorial. How much is a factorial? You take a number and multiply its predecessors until one arrives, all right? So 4 factorial is equals to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. On multiplying the numbers, this will give 24. So option C will our final answer. So the third challenge is, let's see step by step how to solve it. But first, try to solve it yourself and comment below for me. Your answer in the comments. So here we can use PEMDAS rule to solve this expression. As it helps to determine the sequence in which mathematical expressions should be evaluated to ensure accurate results. Look at the expression. Here we have a plus sign, division sign, multiplication signs, and a parentheses. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is parentheses. So we're going to simplify everything in the parentheses first. So we're focused here 
and we look inside the parentheses. So inside the parentheses, we have a plus sign, division sign, and the multiplication sign. Is there any multiplication and division? Yes, what do I see first? Form left to right. Well, in this case, I see division first. So this is what I have to do first. So 7 divided by 7 will be our first move, which is equals to 1. So again, we are still working inside the parentheses. So now we have 7 plus 1 times 7, since multiplication have a higher priority. So 1 times 7 will be our next move, which is equals to 7. Again, we're still working inside the parentheses, so we have 7 plus 7, which is equals to 14. Now finally we're done with everything to do with inside the parentheses. So now we can start thinking about the numbers outside of the parentheses. So 7 next to this parentheses. Here this is actually multiplication and that's all we have to do. 7 times 14 is 98. This is our final answer. So here is the last challenge. Look at this problem. The problem is 5 minus 5 times 5 plus 5 plus 1 factorial. Let's see step by step how to solve it. We've seen a lot of people do it the following way. Look at 5 minus 5 is 0, right? Right, it's going to be 0 times 5 plus 5 plus 1 factorial, right? Then we'll see in mathematics 0 times 5 gives 0, right? And it becomes 5 plus 1 factorial. And many people don't even notice this factorial sign and write the expression as 5 plus 1, which is equals to 6. So the answer in this case will be 6 wrong. This is the wrong way for us to solve it. Okay, to get the correct answer, let's first understand the PEMDAS rule. As it helps to determine the sequence in which mathematical expressions should be evaluated to ensure accurate results. So in this expression, we have a minus sign, plus signs, and multiplication sign. Of course, the multiplication has a higher priority. So we perform multiplication first. So 5 times 5 will be our first move, which is equal to 25. Now the expression becomes 5 minus 25, plus 5 plus 1 factorial. Now we are left with minus and plus signs. Since both have the same priority, so first we perform the operation that appears first when moving from left to right. So, 5 minus 25 gives minus 20. Now we have minus 20 plus 5 plus 1 factorial. Now minus 20 plus 5 will give minus 15. Now, the expression becomes minus 15 plus 1 factorial. What is factorial in mathematics? Look when a number has this little exclamation mark in front of it. We call this number a factorial. How much is a factorial? You take a number and multiply its predecessors until one arrives, all right? One factorial, it is worth one. So we can write the expression as minus 15 plus one, which is equal to minus 14. This is our final answer. Thanks for watching.